how I got a ride or die. What's going on YouTube, just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be building Dom Toretto's 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8 from the Fast Five. And to create this build we are going to be using this Bravado Gauntlet Hellfire and it is exactly what we need. Now this Hellfire is very very close to what we need like I've already said but uh, the Challenger from Fast Five is a wide body challenger and i don't think we can get any wide bodies and you'll see if you look at some reference photos you'll see that the rear end of the challenger from fast five has uh, like a matte black contrast to the rear panels i'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that but the rest of this is going to be pretty simple and the way it looks at the moment if all we had to do is change the color and the wheels this would work perfectly but there should be some little other options that we could change to make this look a little bit more like the srt8 so without any further ado, let's crack on with the armor, 100% body armor as always. Then we're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes for the front bumper. We're going to go for the stock front bumper because we don't really need to change anything with that. Um, we can go with the primary, we don't need that really. Um, then we've got a secondary version of that and then also the primary color but with a carbon splitter. I suppose you could go with that if you really, really want it to be completely different. But we want to try and stay true to this build as best we can. And in my opinion, the stock version of this is going to be the best one because obviously we need the bumper to be the same color as the rest of the car. Um, but the splitter to be kind of like that plasticky black if that makes sense so this stock front bumper is the perfect one so we're going to stay with it then for the rear bumper the only other option is a wheelie bar and a chute and in my opinion we don't need that possibly dom could add this to his car if he really wanted to do that but um, as far as i'm aware that isn't part of this build so we're going to stay stock for the rear bumper also then for the engine we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts we're going to go with these race exhausts. Then for the grill, we're going to go with this primary open grill. So then we do get an option for headlight covers. Pretty sure we don't need any of this unless we can dual the lights, which we can't. Uh, so we're going to stay stock for the headlight covers for the hood. Now the car in the film does have a small hood scoop. Um, this isn't far off from what we need, but hopefully we can get something which is a little bit closer, which unfortunately we can't. Um, like I said, the stock hood is very close to what we need anyways, so we're just going to stay stock for the hood. Next we've got the lights, we're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. This car does not have a livery, so we'll be skipping past that. Also the plate, rear panel, hopefully we can get this the same colour as the rest of the car, which we can with the primary rear panel. That is uh, going to be ideal. So yeah, primary rear panel. Then we're going to move on to the respray, we're going to go primary colour and we're going to go with a metallic black for this. For the secondary colour, we're also going to go into metallic and I'm going to quickly jump into yeah another colour just to see what um, other part of the car changes and it is the roof but we're going to keep it the same as the rest with this metallic black. Then we're going to move on to the roll cage, we are going to change this and I'm going to go for this cage with the carbon seats. Then we're going to move on to the roof, we get a carbon roof, oh no we don't need anything on the here so we are going to say stock for the roof. Next we've got the side skirts, we're going to go with the primary colour skirt. Then we're going to go to the spoiler, the one we've got at the moment, the stock spoiler is pretty much what we need to be fair. Um, but I was about to say that, <laughs> it just took the words right out of my mouth. We need the same sort of colour as what we've got for the diffuser and also for the front splitter. And it is this plastic dip spoiler, plastic lip spoiler sorry. That's the one we're going to need and I'm um, actually really psyched that we can get that. I weren't expecting it, but we can. That's the one we're going to go for. Then the suspension, we're going to get the competition suspension and a race transmission and obviously turbo tuning. Then we're going to move on to the wheels. You're going to the wheel type and into the sport category. Once you're in here, you want to go and grab these Dash VIPs. Once you purchase them, if you haven't got the color black already, you need to go into the wheel color and purchase black. Once you're here, you might as well go and grab the bulletproof tires. And to finish off the build as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase the low smoke window tin. So you go my bros, as you pull out of LS Customs, you'll see the 2009 Dodge Challenger SRT8 from Fast 5. This is beastly. It is so good, man. It is so close to what we need. It is, it is a little bit of a shame that we can't get a closer hood. Um, that's, that's about it, really. 
you know other than the hood not being completely correct and obviously the wide body at the back because in the film the hood has got like a strip down the center which is matte black and also the rear panels the rear quarter panels are wide bodied so you don't get like this arch that we've got on the on the um, hellfire you've got like a flat wide body and that's also matte black as well so other than those two things really this is perfect you know and also the hood with um where we've sort of like got that cow raised part um that does have something similar to that in fast five but it's got like two um intakes at the front of that of that, of that um scoop so um yeah they're, they're just sort of like being picky though i mean we never get a car in gta which is going to be 100 percent perfect and identical to um you know the car we're, we're recreating but other than the wide quarter panels and obviously the matte black strip down the hood this is bang on it is so close it is unbelievable really and also obviously the car in real life has quad headlights not just you know the two headlights that we have with this but again i can see past that it just looks so freaking cool i'm actually really digging this um this build man but i actually really love the hellfire and obviously the challenger srt8 in real life as well they're just monster monster of, of a car and uh yeah man i'm so glad that rockstar actually released this car into the game and it's so close to its real life counterpart as well and I, I love it when rockstar was able to do that obviously they're changing certain bits and pieces so they don't get sued but um yeah it's so cool and i'm really really happy with the way this build has turned out uh, so as always guys you let me know how I, how you think i've done in the comments below it is always appreciated and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and also like this video and until next time guys i'm out adios